Hello, I'm BudaFem and welcome to my channel. Um, this video is all about creating a club using the Football Manager Editor on Football Manager 2018. Now, if you're a long time subscriber or a new subscriber, you, you probably guess that I like to mess around with the editor, I like to uh, do different databases, I like to create clubs. It's a lot of fun, I enjoy it. Uh, and I, know, I do know that, I mean, this game I've played for a long time. And I've grown with the game, and I know that if you're brand new to this game, it's it looks it's quite complex, and I, I, and I bet it's quite hard to learn. And then throw the editor on top of that as well, and it, that's even harder to learn. Some people are, don't know how to do it, or they've tried it doesn't really work out how they want it, or how they've seen someone like me do it on YouTube. So I just thought this video would be great to show you how I create a club. Get yourself a pen, get yourself a pad, take down some notes. So I'm going to show you how to make your own club. So first up, I'm just going to show you the game with a creative club in it. Now, if you're a fan of my series, you'll see, you'll know all about Manchester Central, you know who they are. Now, they are a real club, they've got great history. Uh, again, you'll, you'll find the introduction episode which will teach you all about the history of the club down below in the description. Um, but they only reformed recently in the last few years, so they're not actually on the game yet. Um, I have asked Football Manager if they'll do it next year, they said they'll think about it, that'd be pretty cool. So they're not on it, so I had to create them from scratch. Um, at the minute, obviously, in my series at the minute, we're in the Skybet League 1, so ignore that. But basically, I'm just here to show you, I've added my own logo, we've got my own kits. If we go to the club's um, facilities, you'll see I made our own stadium. It's a real stadium, near the uh, Etihad, Manchester City Stadium. Um, created the training ground, I built everything from scratch. So, firstly, you might not know, but to get the editor, you have to have Steam, like you do to have the game, really. Uh, I can't believe... I've had the game this long. I remember when the game first came out on Steam. I didn't like it. I'm old school. I wanted to own something. Where there's, and I remember it being so alien to me. Yeah. All you've got to do is go to library. If you come down here to tools, go on tools and you can find it there. You'll see the editor. And obviously I've downloaded it already. That's where you download it from. So once you've downloaded the editor, it'll give you an option to put a shortcut on your desktop, just like the game. The icon is exactly the same, except it'll say editor at the bottom. Load it up, and here we go. This is it now. Some people find it complex. It starts off basic. If you once you really get to learn how to use the editor, you can change uh, to advanced rules and do some really complex stuff. We're not going to do that today. We're going to keep it really simple. This is the club we're going to create today um, because it's a bit of an experiment. I'm going to call it Frankenstein FC. So I've used Frankenstein's monster's face. Uh, estimated 1851. That's the date the book came out, according to Wikipedia. Um, I've made two kits. We've got a home kit here in green. We've got the logo. We've got, we're sponsored by Monsters Inc. Uh, and then we've got the small logo here. Now, if you go on Sort It Outside, you can find a kit pack. And basically, there's thousands of kits on there. All pre made like this without a logo or a sponsor. Adidas, Nike, even brands, even have um, AVEC, who aren't a massive company who make Manchester Central's kits in real life. Thousands, everything, Puma, everything. And then all you've got to do is just drag your logo on it, drag that on it and save it. Dead easy. So here we are, back with the editor. Now, dead easy. Dead, dead easy. Go to clubs. Now if you ever want to, on the editor you want to search for club, all you've got to do is go there, go to name. You've got other op lots of options to search from. The easiest one is to type, put in name, and then just type, say, Man United. And then you'll get anything that's related to Man United. Man United are at the top, the real Man United. Um, now if you want to create a club, Dead easy. Just go add. And it brings you to this screen. Now straight away, at the very top, you'll see a unique ID. Everything in this game, from players, staff, stadium, uh, clubs, everything has a unique ID. And this is going to be important when you want to uh, put the logos and attach the kits to it, which I'm going to show you later on. So the name, right. They're called Frank N. Stein. And this is the main name, the full name, so I'm going to say Football Club. Next up is your shorter name, so I'm going to shorten that to Frankenstein um, FC. Six letter name, now this is easy when you like Denton, because I've got Denton Villa Football Club, then I shorten it to Denton Villa, and then my six letter names, Denton or Man United, that's really easy. How can I shorten this? I'm just going to... I'm just going to put Frankenstein FC. Easy. Nickname. Oh, I'm just, this is just making it up off the spot. Let's just go for the horrors. 
bit of fun. They're not extinct, obviously. Nation. I'm gonna buy it because you can put them anywhere. I'm just gonna for the for this ex, for that this experiment for this video um, for this tutorial. I'm gonna put them in the Premier League. So let's go there. Add condition. Go to name. Press England. There we go. So they're now English. Blah blah blah. There you go. Lovely jubbly city. I'm, I'm Mancunian. Uh, I'm going to put me in my mum's hometown. So we're going to be Manchester. Uh, there we go, Manchester North West. Don't want to be in America. No offence. Right, year founded. Now this is something important, especially if you're in England. Um, it's hard coded in the game. If you want to create a club and you want to play in the FA Cup straight away, you need to make that club two years old at least, or you're going to have to wait two years before you can play in the FA Cup. Morale. We're a brand new team, we're all happy, so I'm going to put the morale up. I don't really know much about that. Now this, reputation, now this is important. Um, I think Man United and Man City, I think about 8,900. It can go up to 9,999. Um, Non-league, Stockport levels about 2,000. Now this, this lets the game know your reputation. It lets you see what kind of players are interested in coming. It also lets you decide how much money you can give the club. So say when you see these billionaire experiments, someone's had to have given them a huge reputation and a sugar daddy, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, obviously, we're in the Premier League. We're not going to be a Man United kind of team. Um, I think around Everton, maybe mid-table. So I'm going to say 7,500. 7, uh, got a ownership. I'm just going to have a chairman here, but this is quite cool. You can you can have it fan-owned all the time. You can have um, loads of stuff. You can, you can decide, look, turnouts for voting for the new um, chairman. You go. You can have a president. You can have a general manager running the club. So we're back on the main screen. If you go down here, click stadium, and again, just like creating a club, add a stadium. So let's think of the name. I don't know what we can call it. Horror Park. I'm not being very imaginative. I know that, but um, keeps it easy, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Right. City, Manchester. There we go. Owner. We should be on this now because we've started it. Frankenstein should be. On it, if you type Frank, there we go, Frankenstein. Uh, owner type, we're going to click club because we do own it. Now, if you don't own it, that's when you have to pay um, rent. So, if you do want to take over your own club, a real club, and you just want to go into the editor and you want to own your own stadium, you can change that here. You can take away the rent and everything. I'll show you that again. Right, seats, because we're playing green, we'll have green seats in the stadium. It's not a training ground. Capacity, let's just say 50. Um, and it can expand to 70 one day. Again, use capacity, it doesn't matter. This is in case you were, um, capacity is 50. If you want standard, you could you put that to 40, so on and so on. Just these little details you can change. Uh, pitch, that's plastic. Grass is good. I quite like this one. The grass, the new one, the grass synthetic mix. And you can pick your size of your pitch. I usually leave that the same. Come all the way down here. Pitch deterioration. Probably best put it on slow. Recovery rate 20. So it's good. So you're just not messing about too much. Uh, build date. Pitch doesn't need the leg or pitch relay required date. Ignore that. We're going to go to the build date. And seeing as we were founded in 2014, we've got our new stadium in 2014. There we go. Uh, right. This bit here is quite cool. You can put your latitude and longitude in. Now, I don't know why is it an option if it doesn't matter, so if it knows exactly where um, Old Trafford is. So here we are on Google Maps, looking over East Manchester, Denton, Gorton, where I'm from. Um, and what we're gonna do, what, all you gotta do is, I love this, me. We're gonna put it, when I was growing up, we played football behind my mum's house on a proper football pitch. This is where I grew up, and this is all this green area. Perfect, this, this is a big football pitch, right? Click it. Yeah, and if you see there, you get the coordinates. All you need is the first two dot whatever, and then the minus two dot whatever. You don't need the full number, you can put that in if you want, but it'll just get rid of that. And then the game knows that the stadium is exactly there, and I just love that little touch. So here we are back, and as you can see, I put in the exact coordinates. So the Horror Park Stadium is now on the field behind my mum's house. I love that. Uh, it's a brand new stadium, so it's very good. Obviously, if you want to be a bit you know, different. 
you can all these options for your stadium here if you want it to be pants uh, it's not used by the national team i'm not going to use it none of them are using it but again if that's something you want you can have all the different national teams of the country you're based in playing in your stadium not using a continental final now we don't want that it's not extinct it's not going to be covered but, we'll have, but let's have a retractable roof let's why not uh, it's got under soil heating it's manchester it might need it um, and it's got digital ad boards because it's the Premier League. And this bit at the bottom, another nice little touch, nearby stadium. I think the nearest stadium to my mum's house is the same size stadium, which is Curzon Ashton, who are in the Vanarama North with Stockport and Salford. We've got the Horrid Training Complex, it's exactly the same. It's only a 5,000 seat because it's a training ground. We have got a plastic pitch. I've kept everything the same. I've not bothered with the build date because I don't think it matters. Um, it's got under soil heating, it's out in the open air. The only difference is as well is I've clicked and checked that it's a training ground so the computer knows this is our training ground. Well, here we are back on our stadium on the general tab, you'll see that over here. Now if we go to our stadium, we can just click Horror Park. I've already looked, searched for that, so it's there. So Horror Park's our stadium, but if we go here, click name, type in Horror of a training complex and there you go now attendance it's a 50,000 and it can go up to 70 that gives us room to grow as a team if you want to put a few years into your save so attendance here I usually put it at um, 50 right and then minimum you know when we're playing crappy little games league cup games or whatever maybe 25 and then maximum I'm gonna put 70 and then that guarantees us that we've got the fans hanging about if we ever want to upgrade to a 70,000 seat stadium because I did max it, remember? Um, right, training. Now it's up to you this. I'm going to just do this for the sake of this tutorial, but it depends how you want to do it. Do you want to grow this team from nothing or do you want to start off with the best things? Just for the sake of this, I'm putting 20 on everything. It means we'll have the great facilities, great corporate facilities, easy peasy. Okay, now onto the finances. Now, like I said earlier, Depending on your club's reputation, depends on how much money you can give that club. And um, so we've given the club a seven and a half thousand rep, which means we can put some good money in the bank. But if you want to do your own billionaire team, um, you need to give a high reputation. You also, if you want to do a billionaire, you need to uh, give yourself a sugar daddy. You get a foreground, background, underwriter, doesn't matter as long as you select one. <coughs> we're not going to have one though. And um, we're in the Premier League, just for the sake. I'm just going to give us. 100 million in the bank, 50 million to spend, and again, this is just your personal preference depending on what kind of club you want to create. Uh, maximum wage allowed. Now, if you're Real Madrid, you'd want to put 500,000 pound per week. If you want to be silly, I think you can go up to, let's just try, I think it's a million. Let's just do that. Yeah, the most you can do it is a million, so you can pay players a million pound a week, which is crazy. Uh, we'll just put that at 300, say. And then your remaining wage budget, this is what you've got left to spend on wages. Let's just put five. There we go. Now you can have a sugar daddy, we're not going to have one. But you can. You can put your club in administration. You can put them to a transfer embargo as well if you really wanted to. Also, this is where if you don't own your stadium or if you just want to change the club you're at, like I said earlier, and you want to you want to buy that stadium, um, you don't want to pay rent, you need to put that on zero. Uh, match day tickets. £50 a ticket average, let's say, let's be good, eh? £500 for a season ticket, and we've got regular 50,000 to 40,000 fans, let's say we've got 25,000 25, season ticket holders, other income, now this is again, this is totally up to you, I'll show you, you can add one, now here, you can do all this, now this is really good if you want to really build your club up. And start off on a good, on you know, in the Premier League or so on. And so you can have individual TV deals, all kind of sponsorship deals, stadium sponsorship deals, back of the shirt, so on and so on. For the example, I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to have an individual TV deal. Now we'll pick 2017, July the 1st, as our starting point, and, we'll, and then we're going to go five years into the future. For this, it's a five year deal, so 2022. It's renewable and it's a fixed value. Now this, the value you have to put in here is the, the entire five year package. So say you want to give your team 100 million pound a year from its TV deal or stadium deal or whatever, you have to put in 500 million. 
that'll give you 100 million a season over that five year period again just tailor that to what you want this is the english premier league and if we go to the teams you click on teams and here you'll see these are all the premier league teams at the start of the game They've all got uh, reputation points. We're seven and a half thousand, so we're going to be around this, around the Everton, Tottenham mark when it comes to reputation. You can see all their balances. That everyone starts with. This has not been changed. Uh, but what we're going to do is, I like Huddersfield. So what we're going to do is, no offence to Brighton, we're going to get rid of Brighton and we're going to put Frankenstein FC in Brighton's place. Now you're looking at the table. All I did was I clicked on Brighton, um, press remove, went to add. Types in Frankenstein FC and now you'll see us there with our new ID, we're in the league. Now one thing you need to do though, you don't want Brighton not, not being in the league, I just think that's unfair. What you're best doing is you go to the championship, pick the lowest team, put Brighton in the league, get rid of the lowest team, then move that lowest team down a league and just keep repeating that process. So now when you come on here, this is our competition page on Frankenstein FC, you'll see we're now in the Premier League. You can do all this last position stuff. Don't worry, that doesn't matter. Tactical attributes, this is important. This is what your club's like. So if you want to be an attacking club, let's say we're an attacking club. We like we've got a bit of depth. If you just go through all these, you're good at marking, pressing, this is the kind of club where you like playing fast football. Uh, and then the club preferred formation. So this again, this is your preference. I mean, a lot of people like to play um, for this one, don't they? Where is it now? Four two three one wide, and then you can pick your second favorite formation, which is maybe four four two. Say, let's find four four two just to show you, uh, and then you can pick defensive formations, attacking formations. This supporter profile again. This is for your fans. So if you want hardcore fans, you want to have them loyal, and you can have passionate, patient, so they don't call for your job if you're doing rubbish. Affluence. I think that's what kind of how much money they've got. So you can make them decently rich. So obviously if you're from a poor town, you'd have that low. If you're from a town with money, you can have it high. So when you go onto the kits, they'll just give you a standard kit, standard colors, it's give us blue, which is no good. When we play in the 3D match engine or any engine, we want that to match the kits we've designed. Um, and plus it's the club colors, all the club colors. So we'll have a look here. Now obviously we play in our home kits like bright green with navy shoulders. So if we go to change here, there you go, that'll be perfect. You'll see all the different kind of styles you can pick. And there you go, if you see that now, that's pretty much the kit we've got. So it's 3D, it'll match the kit I've designed. Uh, let's just change the shorts. We'll have, we'll have navy shorts. And we'll just to make it easy, we're gonna have white socks. And then this the text bar is when you see the bars flashing up uh, at the bottom, also at the top of your club. So obviously our club is bright green, so we're gonna pick bright green. And then the right in, we're going to go for that very dark navy. Onto the away kit, I've just done this now, obviously. It's a black kit with red trim, so I've just made it nice and easy. There you go. Uh, we've got white shorts, red socks. Same process as with the home kit. Uh, obviously, if you want to add a third kit, you'll do that. We haven't got one. Goalkeeper kits, you get nothing. I've just pressed add, and I've given us a yellow shirt just to make it nice and bright. Uh, if you don't do this, or you don't have to add a goalkeeper kit, the computer will just give you an automatic one. Onto the staff now. I'm going to make a video at a later stage where I show you how to really make a player and a staff member and a journalist. There's loads of things you can do in detail. Um, so I'm just going to nick someone for this one. Take someone from another club just to make it quite simple. I'm a Man United fan. I'm going to get rid of one of the Glaziers. Why not? There's lots of Glaziers on the board. <clears throat> sure we can find one. Joe Glazier, there we go. So Joe Glazier, now as soon as you click him, it'll bring him in as a director. We don't want to do that. Well, just at least have a chairman. So if we go on to him, this is his page. Go on to his contract. You'll see here he's now at Frankenstein Football Club. If we go down here, we'll have him as a chairman, not an owner, a chairman. Now you can go into detail of all that. I will show you that at a later stage. Coaching staff. Again, you can, you can put a manager at your club if you wanted. If you wanted to create a club for something else, uh, you can go in, create, all your, put all your staff in. You can create all your own staff. Like I said, I will show you that later. Players. This is your squad now. If you want to add anyone. Like a real player, just got to add. Add condition, name, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Ronaldo, whoever it is. And then they'll just get added here. The contracts will just change automatically from whoever they're at, but Manchester United say it'll change and become a Frankenstein contract, the same wages and so on. So if you want to adapt that, you'd have to go into the player and adjust that. Again, I'll show you that at another time. Now, the first option you get on relationships is rival clubs. A really good one. Uh, so we're in Manchester. So just, just for the sake of it, we need a rival. Or, I mean, you can go really, I really go into depth with this, me. Picking locals, changing different things. 
We're going to Man City. Don't like him. Uh, we hate him. 100 is the maximum. That means you hate him. Say if they're just like a, a sort of local rival, you can maybe put on 50 or 60. Uh, obviously, local rival. You've got competitive rivals. So say like that's that'd be like maybe Arsenal, Manchester United, opposite ends of the country, but they're still competitive. Um, and then you've got historic rivalries. Uh, favorite people you can add. Um, so when you're on your general screen on any club, you'll see like the favorite people, won't you? This is where you can put that. Uh, dislike people, club legends, uh, and current affiliations. This is where you can get um, your affiliates. So you can get pick yourself a little club down in the lower leagues. You could maybe pick yourself a club abroad. Um, we're going to pick a money affiliate because we're in the Premier League. Now, if you get a team from America, China, I think Korea and Japan work as well. The clusters are uh, like a money affiliate. You get extra merchandise sales, which is always good for any team. But well, I'm going to use Seattle. I'm a big Seattle fan. Now, if we click on it, you bring, it brings up all the main details here. Uh, you can change any of these to anything you want. It's just going to be a normal affiliate. You can pay them money if you want. Uh, what we need to do is, we need to put everything into the game. Now, click on start, go to documents, go to your sports interactive folder, open football manager folder. Now, if you go to graphics, this is where you have all your kit packs, so on, and uh, your pictures. I've got all my like competition pictures, trophies. Things you can get from sortitoutside.com. Lots of great graphical add-ons. You should check it out. Now, if we go into my kits folder, which is just within the graphics folder, these are all the kits I've downloaded so far. I could get more. I just can't be bothered at the minute. And if you haven't got a graphics folder, you can just create one. And chuck everything in it, and the game will pick them up. Now, whenever you download one of these from a website, again, I get all mine from Sort It Outside. And they come, each one will come with a config file. So, Let's just find one, anyone. Now I'm going to show you this just to prove it. It can be anything. I'm not going to use England. Jupiter Pro League, right? So we've got Belgium, right? It doesn't matter. This is just to organize it for you. You can use any config file, any. And that's what this is. Now all you need to open this, I've got um, Adobe Premiere Pro, so I've got a package uh, to open this, but you can just use Notepad. Use whatever you've got on your computer to open it and open it, right? And it will uh, come up. And when it comes up, we'll maximize it. <coughs> right, now here we go. <laughs> it, it looks complex when you first do it, but it's, it's, it is really, really easy. Now what we want to do is we want to add our kits. So if I bring up our kits from before, we need to give them a decent proper name. So I'm going to rename them. Um, Monster Bottom Dash 1. And this one will be monster bottom dash two so we know we've got one and two home and away now we go back to the file now all we've got to do is click here you'll see there's Andalex first two kits next is their kits just press return twice create yourself a space copy one actually no copy both sorry copy both right click copy go to here right click paste and it's just it's basically just copied the andalect now all we need to do is click here go back type monster click here type that click monster monster one and two there we go and then this bit you see like their numbers two five six that's their individual ID ours is can't remember it's a bit longer so we've got 20-6200-2164 and then we just need to copy that again 20-6200-2164 now that, that's it go to the top of whatever you're using press save and they're in they're in the config file the game will pick them up and they will attach into that unique ID, which is Frankenstein FC. Now onto the logos. Right, with the logos, I'm in my shiny mega pack that I've got I've sorted outside. In here, you've got all the competitions and so on. Um, go on clubs. You get a normal and small. Ignore them. Don't need to bother with them. So if we're going to small. Your config file will usually be at the bottom. Now this is look. I've got this stuff sorted outside. There's, there's trillions in it. Absolutely millions in it. Go straight down to the bottom. Click the config file, wait for it to open. When it opens, same thing. Let's click here, click 
clip down. Let's copy this one. Copy, paste. And then we just need to type in our, our number, which has gone off my phone again. Doesn't need to do this. Yeah, all right. Two zero six two hundred two one six four. Again, at the end, you need to do it twice on this. Two zero six two hundred two one six four. That's it. Save it. Big logo, which has to be one eighty by one eighty. Put it into there. Bob's your uncle. Now. We just repeat the process for the small one. I'll see you in a minute. Now we put all the logos and the kits in, and we're going to go to the game in a minute. Uh, remember that small logo, 25 by 18. Um, that's the size it's got to be. But what we need to do is we need to save it. I nearly forgot. So if we go to the top here, go to File, Save Data Editor as. Now this database has got a lot of changes in it from different things I've been doing. I'm just using the same one. I'm just going to call it Frank. Keep it simple. Save it. There we go, that's saved, sorted. Now let's get into the game and have a look at it. Where we are, let's start the game. Now there's a few things we have to do to make sure the kits and everything come in. I'm gonna show you that. Um, I'm also gonna show you how to select your database uh, and play with it. So you click new career, this is the first thing that comes up. Make sure you go to the top here, now these are all the databases I've been doing stuff with for different videos. Uh, ignore a few of them. And basically you'll just click that one. Their add-ons. Again, you can get this from sorted outside. It's the that's all the fixes for Germany, Japan, and so on. What you need to do is go on to the add remove leagues. Now, sometimes it'll select other leagues. Um, I've already done this. I've just clicked on England. I've on, I've only selected the Premier League. Obviously, you can go all the way down to the Van Ram and North and South. And normally, I'd have a large database. I'm clicking small, so it's quicker. Now, down here, you've got other options. Now, I'd always click that one. Then, just in case you end up getting that in-game editor for something else. You're never tempted to cheat, you, so you can't cheat if you click that. Uh, this, if you disable them attributes, you can don't have to scout as much. Um, now, I need to, you need to click this because we haven't got a squad, so you need to click Add Players to Playable Teams. It'll give us a Regen Squad. Don't click any of these. Um, if you don't want to use real players, I've done this myself. If you want all Regens from the day one, click Use Fake Players. It's quite good. So yeah, they're the settings we're going to go for. Let's get in. And here we are game set up and um, you've got to pick a team and you can see Frankenstein you'll notice we haven't got a logo we haven't got the kits or anything it's easy easy peasy now here's Frankenstein football clubs main page you'll see it's all green that's because we picked it that way we've got the bright green kit that looks similar to ours now anytime you add any graphics to your game even if you start a brand new game it won't pick them up initially there's a couple of things you have to do go to the FM tab scroll down to preferences See this interface settings, more interface settings, click that and you'll see clear cache, click that, nothing changes but you have to do that. Go back, go back to preferences and then go to reload screen, I'll fast forward it and I'll see you in a minute. So here we are with Frankenstein Football Club, now one thing I did forget to mention before, or I didn't show you, is when you drag the large and small icons into the folder and you change the config file, you need to make sure both of those um, logos have got the ID as their name, that's all they need. Just change the name of the logo to the unique ID. I'll try and flash up a reminder um, early on in the video, and that's all you need to do. As long as if this hasn't worked, when you clear cache and reload your skin, if you haven't got your kits on and your main logo, and when you go into the league, you haven't got your small logo, you've done something wrong, a number's wrong somewhere, or you've deleted something, it has to be perfect. As long as you just copy and paste it, change them numbers, that's it. That's all you have to do, just follow those steps, uh, clear cache, reload skin, and there you go, we've got Frankenstein Football Club with its logos, with its kits. Right, there you go, that is the end of my tutorial on how to create a club, just the simple basic steps, so you can just get going with the basic team, stick your kits on it and your logo on it, it's really easy to do, you can have so much fun with a custom team. I, I have longer saves with teams like this, or teams I've created, because they mine and you, you grow that history together, so hopefully you'll check it out and you'll try and do it yourself if you've never done it before, and if, if it's something you wanted to do, hopefully this video has helped you, or at least put you on the right path of doing things right really there's loads more you can do with it 
but I'm just trying to show you the basics so hopefully you did enjoy that and if you did enjoy it smash that like button for me if you're new to my channel feel free to subscribe make sure you do check out my series with Manchester Central I love making it hopefully you'll love watching it I'm going to do a lot more editor guides as the uh, weeks and months go on I'm going to try and show you everything I do creating leagues and nations and players and so on it is a lot of fun so yeah thanks for joining me I've been booed you've been class I'll see you next time